grandfather was gunned down in an act of road rage. And now the man who pulled the trigger is going to prison for 40 years. The deadly act was caught on camera, and prosecutors say this video was pivotal in getting the family justice. ABC 13's Alex Bozarjian joins us live with details tonight. Alex. Road rage shootings aren't common in Galveston County, according to the sheriff's office, but here in Houston, a very different story. Gregory Sherrod's wife can't help but wonder why him? Why did Messiah Pickens McCoy choose violence and kill her husband? For her, the only silver lining here is he'll spend four decades behind bars. Oh, my God. One of those several shots hit 67 year old Gregory Sherrod's in the back of the head killing him. Hurry, hurry. The dash cam video would later lead to 23 year old Messiah Pickens McCoy pleading guilty to murder on Tuesday. Motive in this case was road rage according to the Galveston County DA's office. Sheritz was attempting to change lanes apparently at the same time as Pickens McCoy. D Bird Sheritz now a widow is still too distraught to speak on camera two years after her husband's murder but she did share chilling details of his final moments saying quote he drowned in his own blood after the bullet ricocheted through his head. This is just a nightmare, so surreal. Our family's lives will never be the same. Our youngest grandkids will never know what a generous and creative, energetic man he was. Let's go. Another shooting investigation was going on nearby on Shiloh Avenue, according to Texas City PD. And one officer heard the gunshots, began pursuing Pickens McCoy, and later arrested him. Road rage shootings aren't common in Galveston County, according to the sheriff's office. Uh, safe roads initiative that we Unlike started. in Houston, where police just initiated a new crackdown involving a multi agency partnership, which will increase patrols on roadways, starting with the Southwest Freeway. Sheriff's widow says the fact that she lost her husband to road rage is still surreal. He was the beloved owner of Bayou Bistro and Bar, a father and forever her soulmate. She said, quote, Messiah stole precious time from Greg and in turn deprived family and the community of an ever creative and ever generous loving man. There's absolutely nothing to be done that would be enough. My Greg is never coming back. There's just an empty, empty space that can never be filled.